Here we are with Danmachi Season 4, Episode 2. And yeah, last episode was more like a slow episode to get everyone back in again. Uh, and we found out our new goal, which is basically go deeper into the dungeon. What else could it be, right? <laughs> um, and I think they said we go to the middle levels or something. And yeah, we basically grouped up with some character, like with some people from other guilds. For example, Aisha. I love me some Aisha. And yeah, they made some preparation, like new gear and everything, learned some skills and everything. Uh, some tactics uh, to be like prepared for the n deeper levels and so yeah i guess we will see what's going on there today because last episode we got like at the end a small glimpse of what's going on like lots of battles uh um bell using his level four fireball with argonaut and it was crazy <laughs> and so yeah if you like what you see or if you want to support me leave a like subscribe or comment i would really appreciate it but yeah, let's get to the episode. Well, here we go, the end of last episode. <laughs> it's so funny. Everyone is like, oh my god. And Wealth is like, yeah. Oh. Aisha. He goes ham. Oh, opening. <clears throat> oh, mermaids. I love me some mermaids, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't wait to see Ice again. <laughs> the moments with Belle and Ice are always funny. Hello, Aisha. I love her so much. Definitely one of my favorite characters. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. That's very interesting. So it either spawns monsters or it regenerates itself when it gets damaged. <laughs> Super special. <laughs> He's especially special because he gains like extremely high stats before he levels up, which boosts him even more. Everyone is fawning over Bell. Yeah. Because he is too caring. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's a difference between monsters and Xenos. I mean, I, he kind of has to, otherwise he couldn't go down, right? If he wouldn't kill any monsters anymore. Yeah, I guess it makes... I, I, I guess I understand the feeling, because he improves so much while she's like still like stagnating or something, I guess, maybe. And he got to cheer up. Just tease her a bit. Oh, Aisha! Yeah. Like every main character, basically. That's what she wants to be. Fits perfectly. Why? Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That also makes sense, I guess, in, in the dungeon. I feel like Aisha is, like, very knowledgeable. Which you might not think at first glance, because she's basically an Amazon. And I guess you wouldn't consider Amazons to be, like, super smart or knowledgeable, but, like, more like warriors, right? But I guess she's like very smart and knowledgeable. I mean, I guess she feels kind of like in, in, indebted, uh, indebted to him because he basically saved her, right? Yeah, he has so many knives now, he <laughs> basically doesn't have to use the Hestia knife anymore that much. Would be very bad if someone would be doubting her. She gives commands and everyone's like, yeah, nah, fuck that. It's basically the deeper you go, the more it turns basically into the new world from One Piece where everything gets more chaotic. I wonder... I wonder if we get some 
like flashbacks what her dreams are. Hello, Aisha. I wonder if Hermes wanted her to go. Because, because Hermes always wants to get the news on Belle. Was Aisha already this far down? Always saying the stuff that everyone likes to hear. Being headstrong, wanting to do the right thing, being a good person. <clears throat> and here are the great falls, I guess. Yep, looks like it. Okay. Down to two floors. How about a jump, a leap of faith? <laughs> yeah, it's so different because before the dungeon was always like, like hallways, right? Now we have this big open space here. Ten shells from blue crabs. Three fins from aqua serpents. Thirty fangs from I didn't read it. A thousand? Okay, so they already reached the goal floor. Oh, that's handy. Okay, is it about money? Yeah, <laughs> except Aisha, she's like. She just takes what she has. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, you put so much money in, you have to make it back somehow. Oh. Blue crabs, let's go. <laughs> yeah, right? Crabs that walk straight. Oh, they're big. I didn't thought they would be this big. I thought they were, like, small or so. And over, not even worth to show something. ここも落ちたら命に関わるから気をつけな。うん。気をつけるな。一番の危険はモンスターさ。水の中でもたもたしてたら、あっという間にナブリ殺しにされるよ。おお。ナブリ殺し。うん。たとえモンスターから逃れ
Adventurer. Oh, it's him! He got fucked up. Oh. Aisha knows ex instantly. <clears throat> oh, he lost his arm. Holy shit. Was it maybe the monster we saw at the end of the last episode? Yeah, I think it is. What the hell? Okay, it's not a minotaur. Like I thought it would be. What is it? Like a mouse? Monster? <laughs> Dude, he's so agile. Whoa, this monster's agile too. Holy shit, it's fast. Oh. Oh, maybe it's copying people. Maybe it learns and copies them or something. Or maybe just really good in combat. Ooh. <laughs> and he's still ready to go. Doesn't phase him. Yeah, don't stand, stay at distance. Let him come at you. Don't go for him. It shoots shit? Yeah! Some. whatever those are. <laughs> Using the sword as a shield? <laughs> oh, oh! She didn't hide good enough behind the shield! We need an Orgonaut. Or he just vanishes and is. Wedding in the shadows. Holy shit, dude. You can infect people with some shit? So yeah, it is a moss monster, whatever. Okay, this was episode two. And yeah, I, I think it was very interesting to see how different the dungeon can be. Because so far, what we saw until now in the dungeon was basically like everything looks like looked like caves. And it was all like like hallways, like tunnels and everything. And now we have like this big open place with like uh, cliffs that... W go down like two floors where you die when you fall down with big ass waterfalls and everything and water everywhere and sea monsters or not sea monsters but water monster like big ass fishes and all that stuff so it's very interesting and then we also got the information that if you destroy the dungeon it basically regenerates and in that in that time when it regenerates it spawns less monsters because it kind of like it's like has like limited amount of what it can do it seems like so either it can go full on spawning monsters or if it's damaged it has to take some of the monster spawning away to repair um so that's very interesting uh that that that's how it works basically and then yeah we have some small action scenes i mean nothing too major right it was basically the crab fight it's just like a skip nothing too important to even show then we have like the big ass fish that gets destroyed and then we have this weird uh, snake thing coming out of the uh, out of the roof and out of the wall and uh, what's her name? I forgot her name. The ninja girl. Uh, she does a somersault kick and just kicks him away. Man, I suck with names. And yeah, <clears throat> I mean nothing too major, right? Except like the end where we have this weird mouse monster or whatever that can infect or like. Yeah, spread parasites by shooting its weird uh, needles, projectiles, whatever that is, which is crazy. And yeah, last episode I thought it was like a minotaur because it has like these horns. It looked like bulky like a minotaur, but it's not. Um, and it seems like it's very fast and smart because instead of going further for attacks, it just backed off and went away to wait for its chance, maybe for another time. Um so yeah seems like that's maybe our first big enemy we have to fight in this dungeon right now um but it, what i think is also interesting is that we already reached like our destination ba destination basically which is like floor 24 i think uh or 25 no 25 and 24 was the campsite and i thought like we would maybe take like two episodes or three episodes to get to our destination or maybe in a hard case maybe it's like the whole season to get down there and get back up again um, but no one episode and bam we are there so can't wait to see what else was happening and how everything turns out especially now that uh the girl is uh infected by the parasite and the dude is the elf dude is infected i wonder what they are doing now if they retreat back to the surface to treat them or if they 
chase it down and keep to try to destroy it before it can and spread more of its parasite shit. Um, but yeah, if you like what you saw or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.